Inside Carbondale. This is the podcast that brings you the latest information about projects and events going on in Carbondale. I'm Amy Fox, the public relations officer for the city of Carbondale, and I'm joined by Shama Reperto, the executive director for For Kids Sake. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me, Amy. The For Kids Sake art auction returns to Long Branch Cafe and Bakery on Friday, April 27th. Shama, how did you come up with this idea to put on the art auction? Well, it actually started with a group of two artists who um, loved kids' artwork and wanted to do something to support the orphans and students in Bangladesh. So they put on an art workshop, talked to a few schools, and got a handful of pieces that they put up at the Long Branch. And before um, they knew it, you know, 18 years later, here we are with 180 pieces of artwork, working with 150 different artists throughout the world to put on a show that raises $20,000. And I'm assuming this event has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger each and every year. It has to be really rewarding that an idea that started out so small has gotten so big. It is incredibly rewarding. And one of our beliefs is that we really grow things organically. So um, every year we just add on more schools, add on more volunteers and more positions and approach more businesses. And it continues to grow Um, also from within the community wants to participate so we see that more people come to us and submit their artwork or request that they can perform at the event and really wanting the community wanting to be a part of it how would you describe the art auction to someone who has never experienced it before well the walls of the long branch are bursting with color life excitement happiness and variety So you walk through the Long Branch and you need to take your time because there's so many things to look at and so many different styles. There's really something for everyone. There's something from the small squiggle piece named Octopus, which is my personal favorite with a purple crayon, um, all the way to beautifully hand-stitched whole scenes of um, textiles from Bangladesh. And the artwork ranges in price, too. Absolutely. So um, along with the variety of styles of artwork is also the variety of price. So ours, you can get anything from $20, um, adorable little pieces, to um, our highest piece is a starting bid at 250 Now it is a silent auction, so when you go to the Long Branch, you'll see pieces of paper on the walls that you know you can put your bid on and pencils everywhere. So grab a pencil and find your favorite piece and put your bid on it. And the bidding um, is happening all month at the Long Branch. And the final close, the final winners are going to be um, announced and closed at the closing celebration on April 27th. And what can people expect to see at that closing celebration? Really a party, a really big celebration of um, the arts, of people particularly children wanting to support other children and of uh, the culture, the southeastern, southeastern culture that we represent. So you will see um, specifically what you'll see is we'll take over the parking lot at the Long Branch and have an outdoor stage. We'll have bands and performers ranging from four years old to um, adults. Throughout the evening, with quite a variety, you'll see an artist award ceremony for the young children, um, the local artist. You'll have things, um, an amazing Indian meal that's homemade and cooked and donated by the Long Branch. You'll have fresh fried samosas, henna tattoos, all kinds of things to buy, and amazing raffles to partake in. So there's really something for kids of all ages. Absolutely. We have a whole kid tent this year. Well, they'll be having kids' activities um coloring and drawing and learning a little bit more about Bangladesh through our kids activity tent and the whole event is free so anyone can just come in and uh participate at any level you want and how will these proceeds go back to help the children of Bangladesh so our goal for this event is to raise $20,000 which is approximately 10% of our overall annual budget we r- aim to raise $200,000 in 2018 and that money is um what allows our programs to run. And we have a really big operation in Bangladesh. We have five different orphanages and schools. We have 550 orphans that we're taking care of on a daily basis through our five facilities and five different schools that educate 4,000 students. So we, and we have 128 employees. So all of those people are relying on the funds that are raised at events like this and throughout the, throughout the world, really, 
to keep those programs going and to keep those families fed and to keep those kids off the streets and cared for. In addition to the artwork, are there other ways that people in the community can help support For Kids Sake? So there's um, so many ways to support For Kids Sake. In relation to the art auction, you can buy a $5 raffle, and those are available at the Long Branch and Town Square Market. Uh, You can buy a dinner ticket at the closing celebration, and a $20 ticket will feed 57 children while you buy that ticket. Um, You can be an art patron and make a donation in the next few weeks while the show is up, and we will provide complimentary dinners based based on your donation. Now, that's really specific for this event. Um, Beyond this event, we are always looking for people who want to be on our team, who want to help us to um, create more events, to fundraise, and always looking for donors. We are at the beginning, um, you know, we've just kind of crossed the first quarter, but we still have $175,000 left to raise this year. That's a lot of money. (laughs) It is a lot of money left to raise. So um, anybody who feels like this is a mission that calls to them, we really work on supporting the poorest children of the world and trying to bring them up to just a basic um, standard of living. And money goes really far. So a $500 contribution will provide everything a child needs for an entire year to go from living on the streets to having a full um, life that has all their basics covered and an amazing education. You mentioned raffle tickets being $5 a piece. Are there different prizes for each of the raffles? Yeah, there's five different raffles, and I'll kind of give you the quick rundown, but there's Eat Out for a Year, which is really a favorite of people. It's gift certificates from 25 local restaurants, and um, all together totaling up $600 in value. There is Family Fun, or what I call can also be Date Night, which is like cabin stays locally, a family video gift card, a Shawnee Bluff Canopy Tour zip line passes to six flags all kind of fun activities and then there's car care which um, everybody can use because it's got oil changes car washes gas cards um, something that everyone uses throughout the year anyways and that's a 425 dollar value then there's treat yourself which has um, all kinds of health practitioners and spas that have participated very generously Um, you know you have about five hours worth of massage in here and acupuncture sessions and <laughs> SIU rec membership, exactly, um, LA Nails salon gift cards. And then we have Beautify, which is um, one of our biggest things in here is a 10 to 12 foot tree that gets planted by Green Ridge Landscaping, as well as $300 worth of Aveda Cosmetics um, from Salon Euphoria and a handmade scarf. So, um, Really, these are probably the best raffles we'll ever have. <laughs> we we learned that there's so much in them, it's hard to even get the value out of them. So this is the year to buy raffles. Right, and only $5 and your chance to win a variety of prizes. That are all, everything's over $600 almost in value. And what do you hope the reaction is from the community? An event like this is pretty unique to uh, Southern Illinois, let alone Carbondale. Right. Um, I hope that people are able to have an appreciation for international causes and for um, the work that For Kids Sake does really to redistribute. We believe that there's really enough resources resources in the world for everyone to have their basic needs met. And one of our missions is really to just redistribute appropriately. And knowing that the children in Bangladesh across the world even though it's far away and the culture seems completely different, really they're just like us. They're human beings who have their aspirations and their dreams and want to be educated and want a different life and want the best for themselves. And there's so many things that separate us today in the world. And learning that um, there's, there's, there's not that much difference. Is these are loving, loving people who um, want the same things that we want. Why should people come out on April 27th to the art auction closing celebration? I think um, it's it's a really fun atmosphere. I was gonna say, I was gonna say it's definitely just a fun event. So it's something that's for families and kids. If you're looking for something to do on a Friday night, um, it's a great place to have dinner. There's so much, um, so many activities for kids that night. Um, and you, everybody can find a way to participate and to support. And the there's a hundred, like I said, there's 150 different artists that donated to this show. And then there was 
hundreds of volunteers who put all that artwork together. So finding a piece of artwork that has no bid on it is like a magic little contribution you can make because it makes that artist feel special that their contribution actually did support the kids in Bangladesh. It makes the volunteers feel like their efforts were worth something to frame that artwork and to hang it and uh, really makes the show something that is uh, meaningful on so many levels. If it rains on April 27th, I always hate talking about rain, but I know last year you had to reschedule it. Do you have a rain out date for this year's art auction closing celebration? Yes, we move it to just the next Friday. It's Friday, May 4th from 5 to 7, and we will definitely get the word out if it gets rescheduled. But we hope that doesn't happen. No, we are hoping for a beautiful, sunny weather. Um, warm weather. Warm, warm sun. We That's what we uh, we hope to bring to the sun, uh, southern Illinois region with our event. <laughs> and, Shema, if people would like to learn more about For Kids' Sake, would like more about the closing celebration or the art auction, where can they go to find more? Um, for kids sake dot net, really simple email address, F O R K I D S S A K E dot net. Anything else, Shamal, you'd like to add? Maybe I forgot to mention? Um, I want to thank our wall sponsors. This is a new addition we have this year, which is um, a combination of businesses and donors who have picked a wall at the Long Branch to match all the bids on the walls. So, what that does is if somebody buys a piece for or bids on a piece for $40, you're actually making an $80 contribution to the children in Bangladesh. And um, some of the businesses that have participated is um, SIH, as well as the Foley and Dini lawyers have sponsored the entry wall. And then we have a slew of anonymous and private donors who have um, sponsored a wall really in honor of someone or something that they love. Neat. Well, we wish you nothing but the best uh, for April 27th. Thank you so much. Hope to see everybody out. And thank you all for joining me today. We hope you'll join us next time for another episode of Inside Carbondale. Have a great day.